to talk more about the situation in Yemen, let's bring in Elizabeth Kendall, a senior research fellow at Oxford University. Elizabeth, thanks for joining us. You've also been an international advisor to a cross-tribal council in eastern Yemen. Will this pledging conference, first of all, get the $3 billion the UN is hoping for? And even if it does, is it enough money? I think we can only wish this conference today every success in reaching that goal. But the problem here is that even if it does reach the $3 billion goal, that three billion is designed to reach the most urgently desperate 13 million of Yemen's population. Whereas in fact, as you mentioned, there are 22 million who need urgent humanitarian assistance. So it would only reach just over half of those anyway. And in fact, much more worrying is the long-term problem. This conference is about raising funds for humanitarian assistance, but who is going to rebuild this country after the war? What about the bottling facilities, what about the water, the sewage, uh, what about the factories, the hospitals, the schools? That will require massive investment. Elizabeth, what about Saudi Arabia's role in all of this? It's so contradictory. It's already pledged a billion dollars here for this conference, but it's also at the root of this conflict. In fact, the conference is taking place just one day after an airstrike on Yemen by the Saudi-led coalition left another 12 civilians dead. On the one hand, Saudi Arabia and UAE's pledge of almost a billion dollars is, is hugely welcome, of course, as aid. But this is, roughly speaking, what the Saudi-led coalition spends in one week of this war, which is now going into its fourth year. So it's a huge contradiction. It's a bit like sticking a Band-Aid on an open wound. It's much, much more urgent that we find a political solution to this crisis rather than just patching it up by gluing things together with, with some aid donations. And, and the worry here is also that our own governments will find solace uh, and uncontroversial things to say by pledging aid. Pledging aid is easy. Chasing down a political solution is much more difficult and controversial. It involves tough conversations, not only with the rebels, but with those allies who are in the Saudi-led coalition who continue to pummel Yemen.